It's the shooting guy. Hey there, folks. Thanks so much. If you're uh, just tuning in, just swinging by, appreciate it. Thanks for stopping. If you're a subscriber, thank you. Subscribers, it's people like you that keep me going, and I do appreciate it a lot, and that keeps me uh, turning out videos like this because I know you keep tuning in because you like to see what's going on here at the Shooting Guy Compound. I appreciate it. Subscribers, please spread the word. Gerber, many of you know that uh, if you've been watching me for any time, I'm not a huge fan of Gerber. No, not really. Um, I mean, they do a fine job and all, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, I, my, one of my first folding knives that I used in, the, uh, in camping, backpacking, I should say, was, uh, was a Gerber, and it did well. But, uh, you know, they always seem to find materials and things that are just a little subpar so they can get the price to a point where they can meet the mass market. Now, I can't fault them for that. That's not a bad thing. That's just kind of the way it is. And they do meet the needs of the mass market. So, way to go, Gerber. You've done that. But uh, by and large, I don't necessarily go for a Gerber product because um, I'm looking for something that may be just a little step above. And I'm not being a snob here or anything, but I do put my, my uh, equipment uh, through a lot of uh, rigorous uh, trials when I'm out in the field. And I just don't want them breaking. And I've had a couple of experiences where Gerber's uh, did not quite hold up to it. But uh, here's something that I've had for quite some time, and it is a Gerber. And I've had it in my uh, camping rig for a very long time and I keep it in my truck all the time and it's a it's a very good little hatchet let me show you well, there should be get that out of there that's it right there it's my little Gerber I do like it and uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of video here of us using it and it does quite well right, one more time another good thing about this is that it has a little saw now Take a look at this. <sighs> so, if anything, um, yeah, it's not a, a saw that I would use to cut big limbs like you're seeing me try to do there. Yeah, I would have been there forever. Pruning saw, lighter weight, a lot more effective. Uh, you saw what I did use, and it's this. Yeah, I suggest carrying this, and it's very lightweight. I've showed you've seen this before if you've watched my videos. And I use this all the time out in the field. It cuts logs. It does a great job for firewood and all of that. And then take this guy and split up your wood. I like this around the campfire. It works well. So I would recommend that. Let's get to the pros. It is a good size and a good weight. I mean, being about 15 and a half inches long, it's just right. You can carry it on your hip around camp if you need to. You can even pack with it a little bit with it. It's not very heavy either. So that's, a, that's good. It's good size and weight. Another pro is it's got a lifetime warranty. You break this baby, you get it replaced for free by Gerber. Cons? Unfortunately, this little saw is a little underwhelming. But if you're just going to take off maybe an uh, inch, inch and a half, two inch limbs and branches, it'll work fine. Anything bigger than that, you need a bigger saw. Let's get to the specs. Overall length, 15.60 inches. Blade length, 2.70 inches. Could be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Weight, 26 ounces. A little heavy, but you need that to cut wood. The head is forged steel. I'm not sure exactly what kind of steel. The handle, they call it gator grip. Overall length of the saw, 10.24 inches. Blade length, 6.10 inches. The weight by itself, 2.4 ounces. Lightweight, little branches. That's about it. It comes with a nice sheath, not only to protect it, but to protect you, and it hangs from your belt. It's easily carried Slips right on, there. on your belt, Sorry. and it comes out pretty easily. Take a look. Ready to go. Really simple to carry. 
Also, that little saw does not come out by itself. It's got a nice strong couple of magnets to hold that thing in place and I've never had it drop out. Even with all the whacking I do with it. Oh, there you go. That's the uh, Gerber Gator Axe 2. It's a compact, all conditions axe for the outdoor adventurer made with a longer handle than the original Gator. The advantage is a greater striking force with the stainless steel head. The handle is made of glass filled nylon and covered in Gerber's what they call Gator texture. It offers a better and more comfortable grip in wet and muddy conditions. The handle also houses a coarse blade handsaw, held in place magnetically, for sawing branches and brush. It's a rugged and lightweight camping essential. I agree. Well, it's a shooting guy. I'm going to take off. Here's the Gerber, it's called the Gator 2, Gator Axe 2, and uh, that model number is 41420, and uh, look for it in your stores. I'm going to put a link to where you can get one on my website. You can just go to my website, go to the merchandise page. You can buy yourself one. They're reasonably priced. They'll run somewhere between $39 and $45. Uh, I'm going to look for the best price I can and, give, and uh, show you how to get that for that price, okay? The best I can get, anyway. Oh, there you go. We'll see you soon. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God.